Good morning and welcome to Tell It Tuesdays. Hope everyone's had a great weekend. If you're watching me and you're from the U.S., I hope you enjoyed your long weekend. And it, this kind of feels like a Monday, but that's okay. Let's get started. I have a couple of questions that I think are really, really great questions. And the first one comes from uh, Manny. And his question is, uh, I'm contemplating the Emily wallet for a gift, but can't decide if it's an efficient wallet and uh, it's gonna be the very first Louis Vuitton purchase. So number one, I am really excited that you're about to make your very first Louis Vuitton purchase and that's a really awesome thing. And a lot of individuals uh, decide that they're gonna go for an, uh, for a, 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 an SLG for, the, for their first. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. I have a couple of wallets here that I wanna to talk to you about. And then of course, make you might help you make the decision. <clears throat> so this is the Caissa wallet that I've talked about and I've done a review on. And Manny, I'm gonna link it below so you can see the actual review on it where I talk a little bit more about it. But I can tell you, this is really basically the Emily wallet with a couple of new designs on it. To be really honest, at the end of the day, when you open it up, it really is the Emily. So it's a good wallet, but I wanna show you a couple of things. Right here, one, two, three, four. Those are your only card slots. So I don't know if you're someone who carries uh, credit cards or ID cards or um, you know health cards, you know your insurance cards, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> but this could be a problem for you. There are two really well, actually, there's one opening and then two little slots here that can be helpful in in putting other cards in. I will tell you that when I bought this wallet, I knew it would be a problem for me because I am really a card carrier because I have three different insurance types of cards, you know, like, and then I have um, an ID card, and then of course store cards and all kinds of all kinds of cards. So here's what I did. I bought one of these and I talked about it in the video. It's actually, I got it from a place called Tandy Leather and I got it on Amazon. So what it does is it works like the like the inside of old wallets. They used to look like you would slide this into a piece and then there would be these sections here. So I, I did this because I knew that I would need more credit card slots. And then what I do is I just stick it right down in the middle and there it sits and I take it out when, um, when I need a credit card or a insurance card or a store card that um, that I need from that particular piece, I just pull it out and use it. Now, here's the thing, after having done that for a few months, that kind of bothers me a little bit. It's really awesome to whip out your lovely Louis Vuitton wallet and open it up when you're getting ready to pay. And it's great if you're paying from one of these, but when you have to pull out this little Tandy leather thing, um, it's it's a, a bit of a pain because as you can see um, it flips it opens here so if the card that you need is on this one that's great but if not you have to flip until you get to one I am an efficient kind of person so it does irritate me a little bit and I wanted to let you know that so you might find that this is a little more aggravating than than you want to deal with and I know that that a word that I caught when I was reading uh, your question was efficient. So I love this wallet. I think it's fantastic. I do not use the coin section and I can tell you from the material, I can tell that over time that could get kind of sticky in there. And um, I like my best to, uh, to use like a coin uh, pouch. I mean, I have put coins in there before, but um, it's not something that I try to do on a regular basis. So I have to say, if you have minimal cards, this is fine and you will love it. It's a beautiful wallet, has a lovely smell to it, still leathery smell. Um, you know, it's good. If you use a lot of credit cards and you really feel like you want to have a Louis Vuitton wallet, I really would recommend the Sarah wallet because there's many, many more credit card slots. And I think that as far as wallets go, um, when, it, when it comes time, because I have a list of items that I know that I'm focused on getting, when it comes time to get a wallet again, I probably will go for the Sarah and I won't play with any of the Louis Vuitton wallets that have limited card slots. And because I'm gonna show you what I normally use and I just picked this up, it was um, part of the Belk sale 
um, another day. So I haven't actually done any kind of haul or anything on it. So I want to show you this and let me actually pull the, the tag piece off of it. So this is Belk's brand name wallet. And I got to tell you, to be really honest, I, it in my personal opinion, I think this beats hands down any Louis Vuitton wallet so far. And it's my, my essay knows this. <laughs> I've been very vocal about it. So here is the wallet. It's this is from a company. It's it's the belt brand, so it's New Directions, and this is called the File Master. So it's a really cute wallet, but when you open it up, if you can look here, and I I purchased one for my mom in past, and you've seen it, coupons, and then this is recipe receipts. I almost said recipes. And then this is uh, for your cash section. But then when you open this here, like I just want to tell you there's a lot of places to store some credit cards. And I think it's absolutely fantastic. I've given them as gifts um, from time to time. And each individual that I have passed them along to has had nothing but like just um, excitement and raves about it. And I, I think that this is a fantastic, oh, and by the way, it's called the safe keeper because the material um, keeps anyone from being able to read your information like if you pass by. So I don't know if that's really that big a deal. I've read some articles where it is. I've read some articles where it's really not. At the end of the day, I mean, if it makes you feel better, that's great. But if if you're looking for efficiency, I guess, would be my thing at the end of the day, this is a great wallet. If you have a lot of card slots, this may not be your wallet. So I hope that's helpful in deciding. Uh, take a look at the Sarah wallet if you use lots and lots of credit cards. Or, I mean, if you if you really like the Emily wallet and you think that you might want to give this kind of thing a shot, I mean, it does work and it does allow me to enjoy this wallet when probably I wouldn't um, enjoy it as much. So I hope that was helpful for you. And then the next one is, uh, have you ever purchased Henri Bendel? Uh, any items and I have to tell you no the answer to that is no but I, I do actually like that brand and there is um, oh gosh it's the um, it's a drawstring bag this um, I think it's the South Street I think is uh, really beautiful and I, I wouldn't say no to that one at all as a matter of fact it it is on my list of, of bags in general, but it's a little bit farther down the list, so it will be a while before I own any any product, but I, I would say absolutely. I think it's a great brand, and I think I think it's, I mean, I've seen it on the streets. I think it's absolutely a beautiful, some beautiful items from there. So I hope that's helpful. The next one, a question that I've gotten, I'm actually not going to talk about it today, but I am going to do a little teaser, I guess, uh, is what it probably would be. It's a bad comparison request for a Speedy B25 and a Never Full MM. And I'm going to do that comparison, but I probably, what I'll do is, for me, the Speedy 25 and the MM really aren't a good comparison because one is much smaller than the other. So what I'll do is I'll bring out the Speedy 25 and we'll do a Speedy 25, a Speedy 30, and then the MM. And I will do that uh, to and, and share that with you tomorrow. And then, of course, on Thursday, we have the how to buy a new uh, Louis Vuitton item or actually really a bag of your dreams. So I hope this was helpful, everyone. If you've enjoyed it, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.